guys, it's the Doll Plates, and we recently made a video all about Rose's Disney Princess costume collection. And in that video, you guys could see that her collection was not complete yet. And there were a couple of reasons for this. One, it's just really expensive to buy these outfits. They range for about $30 to $50 on Etsy. So it's just not reasonable to buy all of the outfits on there. And because just so many of those aren't even that accurate to the movie, and Rose is all about having accurate costumes for her Disney princess outfits. We decided that for the rest of her outfits, we're going to just be using some sewing patterns that we found that are made for American Girl dolls to make the rest of her Disney princess dresses. And we will be making like a video series documenting all of the outfits that we make. So the pattern that we use to make this dress is this Simplicity Disney princess collection pattern and you can see it comes with Jasmine, Ariel, Merida, Princess Tiana, and Rapunzel. So it comes with a lot that she does not have. And we will talk later about why we excluded this little outer piece. And we also got this other Simplicity one and this one has, even though she isn't a Disney princess, it comes with Tinkerbell and we'll make that just not for Rose. We have Aurora, Ariel, Belle, Cinderella, and Snow White. So a couple others that she doesn't have. So the first outfit that we decided to sew was Jasmine, and there was a couple of reasons for this. One, because it she doesn't have any outfits for Princess Jasmine, zero, like, compared to, like, her Belle, she has at least four dresses for Belle already, so we wanted to go with Jasmine because she doesn't have any outfits. And another reason we chose to do Jasmine is because if you look online for doll jasmine outfits there's not a lot of options and the options they do have tend to stray pretty far from the movie adding a lot of extra embellishments and outer layers that just don't show up in the movie and what we really like for these costumes to have is just to be authentic to the actual movie that and it also seemed to be just the easiest pattern on there because all the others are dresses and hers is like a top and pants so without further ado, let's show you this outfit and talk about it. So here is the costume. As you can see, it's pretty basic. It's just the top and these pants. And it also had a pattern for these shoes, which I thought was so cute. And it also came with a pattern for this headband and we decided to make the earrings. These were not included in the pattern. When we finished the outfit, we just thought it looked so plain and we realized we were missing her big statement earrings. So now we're gonna show you each of the pieces individually. So this is the first thing we did, which was the top. See, it's pretty basic, just this little off the shoulder, off top number. And it, you can see it has these side sleeves that go over her shoulder and they kind of just drape down. It's really pretty. And there's these straps that are attached here. We chose this really gorgeous fabric that's absolutely so satiny and shiny and just really pretty. And in this pattern, you can see that they put this like organza overlay here. You can see all this drape right here. And in the movie, she doesn't have that. We wanted it to be just like the movie, so we just completely got rid of that piece on here. Another reason why we chose to make this instead of buying it. And then the next piece are the pants. And I absolutely love the way these turned out. I was actually pretty worried that if we sewed these ourselves, they, we wouldn't get the balloon effect of Jasmine's pants. But as you can see, we definitely achieved that. And these are so cute. They look just like the movie. And once again, we did not include that overlay like skirt type piece just because we want it to be accurate. The next piece are these shoes. And these were included on the pattern, and you can see they kind of curl up, sort of like Jasmine's shoes do. I was actually surprised that they included this, but it was definitely a nice detail, and I think it really pulls the outfit together. Next, we have this headband, which is really pretty. You can see it has this rhinestone in the middle and some elastic to go around her head, and it really adds to the overall outfit because she doesn't really look like Jasmine without it. And finally, these earrings, which we made ourselves because the pattern did not come with it. So what we did is we just took some like thick interfacing and we put some fabric over it. And then we just cut a little hole the size of the American Girl brand earrings. And we just stick them through and it holds on to her ear. Now, they aren't like the most sophisticated things ever, but they definitely do the trick. She just needed her big statement earrings to tie the outfit together. I find that since we chose 
not to put the overlays. It looked a little plain and what we realized was we were missing her big earrings. So there you have it. There is our Jasmine costume that we made all by ourselves and we will link the pattern that we used in the description down below. A quick uh, warning if you guys are going to be trying this pattern the sizes on the one this one right here Do run a little bit small because they're made for like journey girl dolls and they're like kind of like torso is a little bit like smaller So we did have to extend it a little bit, but just keep that in mind But so far working on this other pattern these ones seem to fit really good and we'll put those down there, too Just so you guys can see real quick. Here is a comparison to her and Jasmine so thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you guys really enjoyed seeing the costume we made. We are definitely no seamstresses, but I think that this one turned out really nice. And we are currently working on Aurora, so as soon as we finish that up, we can't wait to show you and tell you all about it. Bye! Bye!